be undone I got one night, so I'm up to the morning When it's your life, we gon' see what you want I take your life What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel It's your host with the most Time Boy 00 And you're currently watching Time Boy TV And today, we are here to discuss Supreme Week 13 Fall Winter 19 Retail Resale Price Estimations we don't got the full drop this at the moment, so the thumbnail might be somewhat of a clickbait thumbnail of uh, or title I should say, not really thumbnail, because it is still Wednesday. Um, basically, I get backdoor, but the whole, I only know the most hyped items I'd be releasing right now. So, the thing is, that's all I really know, and that's what I think all people care about. So, I think the rest of the drop list won't be anything too exciting. Most of the stuff is already out. There might be about three to four ish more items coming out. They're most likely just gonna be lookbook pieces. And that's just about it. Now, lately, we also had the new Nike uh, Air Maxes that we were releasing in the spring. That leak came out uh, a few days ago as well, so that's exciting to see that Supreme is still continuing on. They're absolutely garbage collaborations with Nike, which is unfortunate because there's so much potential, so much potential with the two conglomerate companies, and yet nothing's going to come out of it. So, we're going to run to the drop list, but before I start, I do got to talk about my three three biggest announcements before we get right into us into this so first of all StockX. you know we are talking about resale right now so i do gotta mention StockX. look at what they did to the new york location right here <laughs> that's funny as hell but anyways i do gotta talk about StockX because it's a great platform i use it as well you know a lot of people use it that i know and i respect that 1000 percent i understand uh just the undercutting is something that's not needed right now on that market especially with the way we're in the deep great depression right now it's not something people want to do, like, you know, this undercutting, cutting down by five, 10, $15. And by the end of the day, the price is down a hundred dollars. Do the math. That's like $700 in a day. Do the math. You're losing money. That's literally what everyone's doing in the game right now. Not everyone, because some people are smart about it, but for the most part, a lot of kids out there just losing money. So please don't undercut. Just keep that in mind. Second of all, if you want that good luck, that good karma, that good blessing on this week's most hyped item, which is debatably the Ganesh item out here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for that good luck. You know what I'm saying? And um, Supreme is really going downhill, yo. It's sad to say. It, it really is going downhill. I don't know what to say. I mean, I talk about how I said Supreme is... Duh, duh, duh. I said that a million times, and I really do think it's still true. But third of all, if you guys get offended by this video, I apologize. It is what it is. So we're about to pull up the full drop list. We also... Do have a few accessories restocking from this week, and besides that, that's just about it, yo. But come on, Supreme, yo, it's so upsetting, you know. It's it's over. I think the main reason why Supreme is coming to an end, like, all right, it's still gonna be around, it's still great, blah blah blah. But like that whole like the whole stigma behind it is like, oh, it's very profitable, it's a lot of fun, you know. It still is fun, just not as much as it used to be, you know. Soho used to be different out there on those drop days, but we are back at week 13, and we're gonna go from least hype to most hype. So I'm gonna take my usual corner spot. Right over here. Hopefully, you guys, I need to look at my iPad real quick. Hopefully, I look all right. But first up, we do got the Pinstripe Panel Sports Parka, which will be retailing for approximately over $200. And there'll be three different colorways. So we got the red and white, the blue and green. A little bit of Gucci vibes coming down. You know what I'm saying? It does have that little red branding coming cross center. And then we have the black and white colorway as well. Three different colorways. It's a water resistant nylon tassel on with fill and quilted to fit the lining. A two full zip closure with hidden snap po plackets, head pockets at lower front chest, and removable hood and embroidered logos on placket and back. Three different colorways. It's going to be an easy pass on my end. A little bit too of a high retail. Branding ain't really there, and overall, it's just a weird design. And I personally don't wear any parkas. I only wore parkas when I used to do sports. Now I don't even see the point of rocking parkas. I mean, some people's style, you know, don't get me wrong, I respect it, but for me, just not uh, my forte, as I would say. Uh, then we go into the stripe velour long sleeve top. We got three different colorways again. Oh, uh, we got that nice brown and green and turquoise ish and red stripes come down on one. Then we got that pink. In mind, it's vintage, it's vintage style. We got that pink. The black, the salmon, and then the, the Gucci color vibe one as well at the end. That's probably my favorite. It's a long sleeve polo. It has this, had that nice, um, the old English font on the left, which is very, very unoriginal, once again, by Supreme. They've been doing the same chest logos for uh, God know how long. Like every single week, we got about one or two items that feature the same branding on the left chest. Uh, as I said, three different colorways. Uh, cotton blend velour. So velour is a different material that you know, some people like, some people don't like. It's you either like it or you hate it. And personally, myself, I'm kind of in favor for it right now. Uh, but retail this one's gonna be around $158. 
Uh, then we go on to the Disturbed Zip Up Hooded Sweatshirt, which we retailing for approximately $148. We got a bunch of colorways coming down. We got a black, a lavender, a red, a gray, a blue, and a mustard looking green. That mustard green though reminds me of the SS16 backpack. Yo, that acid green, I had it, I wore it to school. I was like, yo, this backpack's so ugly and I dumped it for like 250, I think, or $280. That backpack's like $500 now, crazy. But I remember I had that ugly ass colorway and I took it to school a few times. I was like, yo, what am I doing right now? This shit's mad ugly and then it ended up being profitable. So, you know, sometimes, you know, that back in the day, if you have those items like that, Holding those is great. Nowadays, it's more of like a dump market. Uh, but then we go on to, well, this is this is a hooded sweatshirt that has hot, heavy cross grade fleece. Original artwork by Sean Cliver. He's known for doing a lot of stuff with Supreme lately. Uh, then we go to another hoodie, which is a New York hooded sweatshirt, by the way. Reselling all those pieces is just going to be round zero. We go into New York hooded sweatshirt, which for once in the season, I'm kind of excited about this hoodie. Will I be buying it myself? Most likely not. <laughs> it just, it's a finally cool design that they got coming down. Heavyweight cotton cross grain fleece with a uh, felt logo patch. So basically what we got, we got Supreme coming along the chest and we do have that nice NY logo coming on it as well. Uh, NY, that red, green, and black colorway is doing just nice. Will it resell? Most likely not. But he's lately been not doing great. Literally, look, Supreme has just been highlighted this season by TNF so far, in my opinion. That's the only good drop they've really had in a... Yeah, maybe week one, was, week one, week zero was cool, week zero and one was cool, but like now it's like, sheesh, yo, what are y'all doing, man? I was hoping for cooler collaborations, but so far, like really, like SBs were, uh, SBs were better than what they have been doing, but like, regardless, bro, it's just not as good as they could be doing. Like the potential is still not reached, but it's over. It's all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> this hooded sweatshirt though, is going to be an easy pass on my end. And then we can go right into the Ganesh stuff. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> we might have been the first ones to leak that out, actually, that uh, Ganesh was dropping this week. Uh, we got the Ganesh Long Sleeve Thermal, the Ganesh Waffle Shorts, and the Ganesh Faux Fur Jacket. Fox Fur is what I used to call it until people clown me in the comments down below. If you guys want to clown me some more, go ahead. Throw them down in the comments. I appreciate it. Uh, but we do have a f these three items dropping from the Ganesh Ganesh Collection. Been highly anticipated this, and like one of these are one of like, the top items people do like. Personally, myself, I would rock it, but it uh, looks like retail will be just around $400 for this piece. It is a faux fur with uh, printing graphic and logo jacquard viscose lining, full zip closure with hand pockets at lower front and interior chest pocket. Um, creepy looking face with, you know, it's it's cool though. It's like a different, um, Supreme. it's cool that like, they pay homage to different cultures. You know what I'm saying? They've been lately diversifying it a bit. And then we go on to the waffle shorts. We'll be retailing for approximately $138. Now shorts, it's brick as hell outside. I don't know what you're gonna be doing in shorts. Even though I see some people rocking shorts out there. I don't know what you're doing with them. Uh, but I would be, uh, this is an easy pass on my end. Not a big fan of the all over print shorts. And really, you, it's kind of hard to match unless you're really rocking the full fit. And you could probably maybe wear the long sleeve thermal with it as well. I could see that fit coming, getting pulled off. But once again, the footwork has to be a lead on this one. Uh, the Ganesh long sleeve thermal is expected to be retailing for approximately $138. The shorts for $138 just around there. And then the Ganesh faux fur jacket is expected to retail for once again around $400. But if you look at the last faux fur jacket that release from supreme it has that black one and i think it was black white and something else it has that supreme coming logo coming along the back that's only like four thousand like four racks like you know but that's also a different material i'm not same material but different design and different time period of when it came out it was kind of slept on as well so just goes to show the slept on pieces typically end up doing pretty well and then we got to new era s logo beanies which the crew good cook cook group <laughs> knew about extremely early we knew we had pre-orders available for this one oh uh, we had that navy the green the black the purple the gray the white and the red color race coming down it's a new era collaboration as well once again they're back with these neon colored s's like it's not a vibe right now they've done this shit before i don't like the neon s's i like the nice simple plain earthy tone s's would have been cool like the earthy tone stuff they did color blocking before it wasn't a big fan i'm a couple of shorts actually but other than that, though, it's an easy pass on my end. An estimated retail on these right here is just going to be around $38. And other than that, the resale could reach around $60 to $70 just around there. Just because it is S logo, one of the most classic Supreme logos out there. But once again, like a lot of kids that are into this whole Supreme game right now, they look at an S and an S could stand for anything. Like stupid, Supreme, like slow, like, you know, anything. But, you know, only the people who know about the brand know that it is Supreme. 
And then we got a few restocks coming down as well. We do have the Supreme uh, Night Court Teeny Keychain, the Tsubo Top Pearl Hard Edge Lighter, and the Stanley the St Stanley Stanley 20 ounce vacuum insulated bottle. So those three colors will be re releasing this week, which sometimes they do. They typically do them for bags, but looks like bags will not be restocking this season. But the most hyped out of all this stuff is the vacuum insulated bottle right here. We have two different colorways, black and red. You can basically look at resale market right now and judge that's going to go down by 15 to $20 under that when this restock comes does come out. Don't expect it to be a massive restock either. Uh, I know the water bottles were pretty limited in store when they did come out. Uh, but the Tsubota Pro Lighters were not limited at all. And the flashlight just did an easy break. You know, that's going to be sitting there for quite some time. Uh, so if anything, the main pieces to go out of this restock is the bottle for sure. Uh, then we go into the plated dumbbell, which, you know, your boys are about to get massive out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited. Y'all can finally get big as hell. We got the plated dumbbell. And this will motivate me to go to the gym with these five pounders. I don't even want to show you my guns right now because they're kind of elite. But we have the gold and silver plated stainless steel five pound weights. Um, this is a lookbook item. We've been knowing that it was going to be coming out. It's kind of funny though. It's mad funny that they're going to be doing this. But shipping, I wonder how shipping is going to work because typically their packages, like the labels, are four pounds or under. This is a five pound weight plus packaging material that makes it just around five and a half to six pounds. So hype is coming out the store. Yo, y'all better be careful. I know all them. All them little kids coming out the store, you won't be able to carry them. So think about it when you're in the store. Think like, yo, I really got to carry this home or I got to carry it to the Uber or something. Just keep in mind, it might weigh you down just a bit. And if someone runs up on you, be careful because, you know, you can't roll with a five pound weight that easy. Just, I'm um, just a precautionary measure right there. But reselling these might not, this is not going to do nothing crazy. Retailing these, I still don't know, but I do expect it to be around 50 to 60 to $70. Just around there, resale could be around 100 but... I do expect it to be somewhat limited because to make a weight, it is kind of complicated. It is stainless steel. You got to etch the logo in there and all that good stuff. But, you know, Supreme does. They can mass produce anything right now. Then last but not least, we have my favorite item, which is the only item I'll be personally going for is the Supreme Volume 2 novel, the book, the photograph book, whatever you want to call it, Supreme Volume 2. Uh, F and F. Opening was insane. I know somebody who got the F and F poster, which your boy's fiending for right now. So if anyone out there who's F and F coincidentally and has that poster, please hit me up because I need that. Not the poster that's coming with this book, the one that is the actual box logo sticker. They made a poster of the graphic, the actual graphic. It's sick as hell, yo, and I'd love to put that in the background. So you know, it'll be good. It'll be going to good use. Uh, but the book does come with the box logo sticker and a poster and the actual book itself. And the book cover itself is also a massive box logo. Too many box logos to even count right now, but we do have a few coming down. I do expect it to resell for a little bit. It's fifty dollar retail. It might end up going for seventy five to eighty bucks. But at the end of the day, it's a book. They can restock them. They can mass produce them. It might end up being available for quite some time. So I keep that in mind. But definitely one of the coolest personal pickups you can have from the season. It's nothing you can wear or rock out, but definitely cool home decor. And that's also why little kids don't have homes. They don't really care. So therefore, they won't really be caring for this item. So Risa won't be that much. But it's more of like a collector item and more OG piece, in my opinion. Because it is Volume 2. Volume 1 I actually do have, but not with me. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck on this week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it so much. Other than that, though, uh, Live Cup will be coming Thursday. Friday, I'd like to give you guys a quick rundown. Friday will be in-store video. And then after that, uh, we'll see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, we cop some new Air Force Ones or something like that. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.